No, we're right over there. We're Eugene Backyard Pier here for another. We're going to work on uh, a Troy Belt 210 Tough Cut. Uh, guy I was working on his tractor uh, had been up to his house a couple times, so he decided uh, instead of uh, running back and forth, I, I, I was doing the work, or well, I told him I'd do the work for free. Yeah, uh, he decided he would be nice and give me the mower. So, uh, take a look and see see what it needs to get it running. Uh, I already did a video on changing the cables on this. Uh, we got brand new set of cables on it, but uh, we wanted to do a video of uh, can we get it to run? <laughs> that would be that'd be the that'd be the best thing to try. All right, let me pause you right here and I'll uh, grab some tools. All right, I got some tools to see if, uh, see if we can uh, remove this air filter here. Five sixteenths. Whoops, just hit the tripod. This camera stand, or whatever you want to call it. It's a, it's a warm one today. Just had a, whoo, she's a little rusty. <laughs> she's a lot rusty. Ah, I look up on the wall, I think I have another one of them filters. Hang on one second, let me see if I got another filter. No, I looked around, I don't have, I don't have a filter for it. That's okay, track the supplies not that far from me, so I'll, uh, have to get one. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not too expensive. Got a couple eight mils in here. They're a little tight. This thing has been sitting, like I said, for two years. That's what I was guessing, at least two. One there. Should be three all together. Yeah, they're uh, stuck on there pretty good. From uh, boy, they're probably getting in behind here. This cover. Hopefully, none of them strip out. If it does, uh, should be getting a new air filter and a new carburetor. <laughs> not, not a big deal. Turn them from a little loud. I'm right on top of the camera this time. Uh, guy had a public comment. You know, I, I take criticism. Criticism. Uh, so I need to get better camera angles and work on my audio. So covers off. Who? She's a. A little greasy in there. I don't know if you can see. The camera doesn't go. The tripod doesn't go low enough, but uh, there's a carburetor. I could have pulled this cover. Uh, I don't need to pull it, but so you can see a little bit better. Well, uh, we'll pull the cover too. Just, just two, two screws on top. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing major. How's that? Better? All right, now we got a fuel line. I know the tank is empty. I just looked. And well, I'll be darned. This carburetor is actually bolted on underneath. <laughs> well, there's a first. You see the the slit on there, and the bolts go through the air filter. Hold it. Have a pair of pliers here. Pull the fuel line. Oops, I got you a little too low here. Sorry about that. Fuel line. Give me a little wiggle here to make sure it moves. Fuel lines off, she's a little petrified. What are these back here? The tens? Well, they don't make them too convenient, do they? Huh. Almost right behind the right behind the flange. Not a good idea. Get 
Just if you had an extension or something, it would be a little bit, a little bit easier. Bolt. Where's the other one? Second one. Got a tie off. I got a linkage here, and that's it. I don't think the spring is hooked to the top of this one. It's hooked to the linkage itself. Yep. Got it off. It's on the it's on the outside of the hole. I didn't use the inside one. All right, then pause you and we'll bring you up on the table. Now we got ourselves a half inch here. Let's take the bowl off and see what uh, see what's inside. Oh, see the screws hard. I'm guessing there uh, was some fuel left in this and it dried up. Screws is uh, the hole's not blocked up in the screw. It looks like it was dry dry. Get some uh, dust there. Ugh. Yeah. This had been uh wood or something had been in here and it dried up. Also metal tip, so it's got a rubber ring inside, but it looks good. Just a uh, crusty from uh, sitting there. Condensation, I guess, or moisture that has dried up in it. All right, we're gonna grab a Dremel and we're gonna clean this out. Let's take a Dremel and just some uh, wire brushes and uh, try to get some of this uh, dried up powder from the condensation out of the bowl, so it doesn't. Uh, Getting the fuel again. All right, we'll bring you back in a minute when we get this cleaned down. Then you want to watch me uh, run a wire brush around the bowl. All right, we got it cleaned up pretty good here. Get the cover cleaned out. Get the bowl cleaned out. Took some uh, tar cleaner, sprayed it through everything. Use some air to clean it all out. We dry it off, kneel back in. Oops, too far. Got the float back on. Working. Make sure it's sealing off. Blown. You can blow through it. Cleaned out the hole on the end of this one and the one on the side. Oh, almost forgot the gasket. Tighten this back up. Not too tight though. That should be good. Alright, we'll back you up in the reinstall. Alright, get the card back on. The o ring's still there. There's nothing wrong with it. The linkage back on. Back on our o ring. Your bolts. Get the other one started here. Of course, the other one I can't see. 
well, I could if I had the, if I didn't have all, all the stuff in here, the motorcycles, and uh, I can bring out the table, but we're good. Linkage is working. Because I think it's yeah, she's been empty for a long time. The fuel line back on. Pinch clamp. Done. Uh, what do we got left? We got a cover. A cover. And we'll see where I put the cover. Uh, behind me. Got to put the cover on here. We've lost some of the. Oof. We're gonna blow it off. Hang on a second. All right, we cleaned it off some. Get our uh, recirculation tube on here. For the gases. Screws. Switch out the bits. 8 millimeter or 5 sixteenths, whichever you may have handy. If you tear the seal on the back here, you gotta make sure you get a new one. Cause uh, the primer will it'll work, but it'll leak too. Don't want to over tighten anything. That's all on. That's all on. Cover back on for full start. The beauty cover, we'll call it. This one was pretty clean on the inside, like I said, it looks like it was out of fuel, but uh, it still had moisture and condensation in the bowl. And that's what that white powder was. Using When that's all fuel to dry up, they turn that green color. I hate them screws on top. It was one strip out. All right, let's get some uh, gas in this. Uh, Push, push more, self propel more. See what she does. Phew. Hot. Uh, hang on one sec. Got the true fuel, no ethanol. Sometimes I like to use the two stroke one, so it's got a little oil in it for the spark plug, but not today. I don't have any mixed up. Got a big tank on this one, wrecks all the way around the back. That was the second reason I took this uh mower. Was one one so I can get a video out. Show how simple it is to pull these carbs apart. And then two was if not I could use this fuel tank on my uh, pressure washer. Alright, we're gonna back you up and get the camera set here and we'll see what it does. Alright. See if it does anything. No, we don't have an air filter on it. Uh, 
should probably rinse and check that bowl to make sure that fuel went oh well. dry problem but uh it sounds like the belt isn't even on on the inside it sounds like it's skipping like the belt fell off that's okay we know it runs it's that was the main part portion of we can unhook that drive system it becomes a push more all right let's pause right here and we'll end this video this wasn't a bad one yeah right we're gonna fire up one more time uh took, took a look at the, the problem with the wheel that's pieces on the floor here Right there, this little uh, spline goes in the tire, and it's just uh, rides on the sh rides on the shaft that bolts the tire to it. Well, for some reason they had to put the spline gear on there. We're gonna we'll order a new one to get it replaced, but uh, it was stuck solid to it. The other one was stuck too, but I can turn that one with a pair of vice grips. This one on the on my right, nope. Hopefully, uh, Amazon or eBay's got them, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get a new one in. Like I said, this one was the one on you facing the mower. The one to your your right is good. This one is uh, no good. Uh, so we're we'll, we'll getting the one in there. Uh, most mowers don't even have that spline. Most of them just have a shaft sticks out, sticks out right here. Bolt goes through it, and then this this it has a gear that drives the wheel. So it just rides on that shaft, that's all it does. Alright. Back in a second and uh we uh end this video here I guess. <laughs> Alright, if you got any information on this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Eugene's backyard repair on both of them. Uh uh one has no S on it, sign up for them, they're free. Uh YouTube's free, so uh don't feel uh scared to hit that subscribe button because it's not going to cost you anything. Uh, make a comment, give them a thumbs up, hit the notification bell if you want to see any more of my videos. Uh, 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 most of the comments I get are, are usually from my cousin, but uh, I've gotten some from some other people. Negative, positive, I, you know, whatever. You know, you want to leave a negative comment, leave a negative comment. I mean, I, I do my best. Uh, we're doing this for free. Uh, I don't know how much negative you can find on somebody sharing free videos on uh, how to repair stuff, but uh, you know, I'm sure you have to change the Cables on one video, and we showed you how to take a look at the carburetor, and uh, we'll put a gear on this, and it'll be uh, out to the next person. Anyway, like I said, uh, give a thumbs up if you would, please. Give it a comment. Uh, check out both. Uh, check out both my Instagram, and my Facebook, Pixie Park Project, funny videos, things in nature, drift girl, screenshots, roadside finds, uh, share videos, all kinds of cool stuff like that. Uh, we check out both of them. Sign up for them, and uh, we're out of here. Peace. There she is. Almost ready to go on to the next person and it sucks out now. I have to wait for whoops. A couple more days for that gear to go in here. But uh we get it, we sharpen the blades blade up and uh should be on the next person and uh should make a good move for somebody. Alright, save some love in your heart, God bless, and we're out of here. Peace.